Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay. This is The Sims Addict. So today we are doing a speed build and this is going to be a modern townhouse type speed build. And we are just building in a small lot in Newcrest. Um, so before we jumped into the build, I did want to mention that I am still working on my university LP. I had everything ready to go. I was all set to get it done, and then I just wasn't happy with the footage. Um, I wasn't happy with the editing. So I backtracked the save file, and we're going to start over, and I am currently working on that. I'm going to have four days off at the end of the week from work, so luckily with that, that'll give me a jump start on doing that. I would rather have an LP and put something on this channel that I really like and I appreciate and I'm proud of versus something that I'm not proud of and so that's why it's taking so long so I appreciate that if anybody was waiting or anything like that um so yeah that being said we are building like I said this modern townhouse and there's a few things that I knew I wanted from the beginning other than that it was just kind of winging it um I knew I wanted this kind of like rooftop deck area and the other thing is I knew I wanted a carport so that comes in later but we're kind of working out the layout there is a there's kind of like a three level type outdoor living situation so we have the rooftop access we have a balcony and then there is a um, kind of like a patio type thing on the first floor so to give it that kind of modern look, this house also doesn't have technically a foundation, although I did use a foundation to make the carport, so we'll see that a little bit later. Um, I did use some of the windows and doors from university. Um, I know a lot of my speed builds right now have been university themed, so I wanted to kind of do something a little bit different, but also utilize the new assets we have in game. So. Yeah, so as you can see here on the rooftop, I'm adding in these kind of built-in rooftop garden spaces. I was going to go with the dirt, but I think the grass kind of looks a little bit more modern. I don't know if it's like an AstroTurf type thing or what, but doing a little bit of roof. Um, we put a glass roof over this little bump out in the first floor. That's going to be where part of the kitchen is. Um, and this isn't a very big build at all. I was able to fit two bedrooms and one and a half bathroom in here though. I figured it was a couple and then they probably rent out the other room. Um, and the furnishing is very like minimalistic. I, I kind of tried to go with that like ultra modern kind of clean look. And so that's what we have. That's what we're working with today. So yeah, just talking about the LP a little bit more, I was super bummed. I thought it was kind of basically boring, and so I don't know if I want to do smaller videos and make it a little bit more cinematic or what I want to do with that. So once I get around and be able to play with it a little bit more, I will be able to figure out the structure and then we can go from there. But. All the basics are done for it, all the builds for the world are done, all of the sims that I wanted to create for it are done, <laughs> it's just implementing the actual LP and filming that. And we will get that figured out and I'll have it up on this channel soon. So other than that we are doing the bathroom now. I did use the open bathroom um, thing we got from university and kind of made like a custom shower stall. I did a little shelf over the toilet. Um, I wasn't sure if using these kind of concrete walls throughout, the same concrete walls throughout the entire house would get a little bit repetitive, but because of the modern style, I think that it looks pretty, pretty good. I think it looks like kind of realistic too, especially with the like the woods and the only. Um, the only thing about this wood and like the kind of color scheme that I was going for is I didn't want it to look kind of like Scandinavian, um, which is why I introduced a lot of the like blacks and stuff. I know a Scandinavian tries to typically be a lot more light and white and then the light woods and stuff like that. So I did try to incorporate a lot of the blacks to make it that little bit more like um, modern versus, well, like I guess what I would picture 
um, American modern to be versus Scandinavian modern. So yeah, so as of right now, you can see that pet bed's right in the master bedroom. I do change that because when I did the walkthrough of the house, the Sims actually couldn't get on the other side of the bed because of the pet bed, so that is in the living room in the screenshots. So not a big deal, but if you want to change that, you can probably delete the dresser, put a smaller dresser in there, and then put the pet bed up there. Um, it's your prerogative. Um, this building is on the gallery. My gallery ID is thornsims06. I'll also have that listed below. And if you are new to this channel, it's a relatively young channel, but I would very appreciate very much appreciate subscribers so go ahead and subscribe like this video I mainly build I am trying to do a lot of building content I'm also like kind of pushing myself to do LPs too so I have an island LP that I'm working on as well as starting a university LP and just kind of working out the logistics of that so as you can see here we're working on the kitchen so again I went with this kind of modern theme and I don't typically do um, counters intersected in each other because they kind of glitch out in terms of the counter um, top because they're the game's registering them at the same height so it tries to like render both of them at the same time so it just kind of like glitches but with these countertops it's kind of it doesn't have any kind of solid texture throughout it so unless you're like going to click on the countertop and you have it highlighted you can only then can you see the like gradient of it um so these are the only counters that i really use kind of custom configuration of the countertops like that so i did utilize that um so yeah just a small little kitchen dining room living area up here there is a computer area on the landing two bedrooms like i said bath and a half rooftop deck um, I did picture a small dog to live here, so there is a small little green space area out of the backyard that has hedges in it. Um, it's also got the planter boxes um, for like a garden type thing, so just a cute little something to put in the backyard. So over here, I did utilize a lot of the Moschino stuff pack stuff in this build because the modern stuff just really lends itself nicely to this aesthetic. Um, and yeah, I included like the camera, like I said, there's the computer upstairs, so I don't know, maybe somebody's into the um, freelance fashion photographer career or some sort of something that would represent, I would figure, a creative career that would lend itself nicely to living in a house like this. Um, I did just use a couple of sims from the gallery in the screenshots, so they are not mine, they're not going to be up on my channel, but I'm sure if you look at the popular now tags you'll be able to find them. So here I think we're kind of moving on to the exterior. I did use a lot of this like black stone, um, some white columns because I didn't want it to be overwhelmingly just like black as well as the same concrete on the outside as the inside. Um, I was really, because even though we have a lot of nice base game modern stuff, I was kind of a little bit challenged with the, because I didn't want any kind of like curved type furniture pieces or any kind of curved um, anything really. I wanted it all to be very clean lines. And so a lot of the base game furniture that we got had some like curve to it. So I did have to get creative with that. Um, I mean, not necessarily. There are a lot of good stuff, good things that came with um, like get together and stuff like that. So, so over here you can see I'm working on the carport. So with the new, well, it's not new now, but the roof customization that was added onto with Island Living, I basically just made a carport that was didn't take up too much space. Um, also, the cars, as we know, are not functional, but I did get a car out of the debug menu, so that's in there, and then I used these kind of like spotlights, um, and it looks pretty good at night. 
So I did kind of like, I did do probably more landscaping than I was expecting, especially with like these hedges and stuff, but um, I wanted it to kind of soften up the harsh modern exterior. So we did do minimal. It's not, it wouldn't look right if you kind of did like this lush, like, I don't know, cottage type garden style. But yeah, so other than that, adding in mailboxes, putting in some other landscaping, and then we are going to start terrain painting, and then after that I think we furnish the exterior of the build, um, like these little patio areas. I thought about doing the hot tub on the first floor, but I think it would make more sense for functionality in the on that second floor balcony. Um, I don't know, the way The Sims works with their floors and levels, it doesn't necessarily look like that balcony could support it, but who cares, I can, it's not going to fall over. Um, did some ottomans, a little uh, radio out here, which when I first loaded in the game it was raining, so that is broken. Um, I will try to fix that before I upload it to the gallery, I haven't yet, but I will do that here soon after I'm done recording. So yeah, I put in that. Um, patio warmer from um, Dino up there just putting in some final details like the garbage can um, I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do another table up here because there's a table on the balcony as well but I figured oh well there's room for entertainment and then I kind of did an exterior kitchen kind of an outdoor kitchen type thing so with that, we are going to head into the screenshots. I hope you guys like this video. I will try to get the LP out soon, and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye!